Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video we're going to show you how to replace the uh, stoplight switch on this Explorer and uh, give you some tips on uh, diagnosing bad uh, brake lights or brake lights that don't work. Um, to replace the stoplight switch you actually don't need any tools uh, although you may want to use a um, flat blade screwdriver or a pair of pliers. As you saw, the brake lights on this Explorer are working fine. It wasn't the case when I got it. When I got this truck, the third brake light was working, but the lower two uh, weren't working. Um, what you want to check for first is bulbs. And I was actually kind of surprised to find, and here's one of the old bulbs from the car. And hopefully you can see that the filaments actually look fine. So. At first look, these bulbs look fine, uh, just on a whim. I put a new bulb in to test, and it ended up being that just the bulbs were bad in my brake lights. Okay, so if you're having an issue with your brake lights not working, um, and, in, and an indicator is if your third brake light is working, and your other lights aren't working, check the bulbs. Even if a bulb looks fine, go ahead and replace it with a new one and see what happens. Uh, if none of your brakes are working, then what you need to look for and um, try is the brake switch. Okay, and this is mounted up under the dash and it's actually quite easy to replace. Um, inside they have some contacts. Contacts can get corroded and also um, they can break and causing the switch not to work. And again, I said, like I said, it's pretty easy replacement and I'm going to show it to you. Before you actually uh, go in and replace that brake switch, another thing obviously to check is your fuse block, which is right here uh, on the side of the dash. And I'm going to show you, just in case you don't have it, but your manual has a very good guide um, to which fuses are which. And I'm going to do a close-up of the manual right here sometime. Here it comes. Okay. So hopefully in HD, if you get that, you can freeze frame it and get a good enough picture off of it. Um, so there's actually on this car there's two pages and then there's also if you look at right below my uh, thumb up on top that's the fuse block that's under the hood of the car. Um, as far as the brake lights go uh, I believe it's the number three and the number nine fuses so uh, you just want to check those and make sure you don't have a fuse blown either uh, before you go I'm trying to diagnose a switch or anything like that. Here I'm actually just uh, taking off that lower trim plate. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this to uh, get a better angle as far as the video goes. Um, but if you do want to do it, it's just four screws. Uh, remove them and put it to the side. Okay, now here up under the dash, um, you can see that's the brake rod and then there's a little yellow clip and I'm just going to use my thumb. You might want to use a screwdriver. Uh, I'm using my thumb to push that clip up off and then I'm just going to fly right off here in a second. Okay, and then once that clips off, grab a hold of your switch right there and just kind of work it back and forth and move it to the left. I'm moving it over towards the driver's side wall and then once you move it over that way, then you actually pull it down. Okay, you can see right there that silver um, uh, shaft is through it so you pull it out and now you can see you pull it right down and there's a bushing that goes between um, the brake booster rod and that shaft make sure that bushing it tends to fly off sometimes so just make sure that that stays in place or, or gets back in place okay so here's my switch hanging down so there's a clip on the side of it so you just want to pull that pin out of the side it's just a little kind of serrated pin that sticks in there and then there's a little button here to push 
and pull the connector out. Okay, so here's uh, the new one from 1A Auto on the left side and the original one on the right side. Uh, you can see they're all the same. Everything's going to go together the same. Everything's going to plug in the same and work correctly. And if your switch is bad, then the new one's going to work the way it should. Okay, so we're going to go move the camera here and reinstall. Okay, so just plug your harness in and push the clip in to re-secure that harness. Okay, and back up underneath. Okay, you want to feel up in there, I'm, or whatever, look up in there and move that rod, that brake master cylinder rod over just to the edge of that shaft. Make sure that sh that bushing is still on there. And then, and I'm feeling my way to do this. I can't actually see. Um, get the switch up on there. And I'll get the angle right here in a second. And then push the switch up. And then push it onto the shaft. And now looking from the other side, uh, I've got that little yellow clip in my hands. And you can tell I've done this type of thing a few times. Or maybe you can't, who knows. Trying to do it while holding the camera in your hand is not the easiest thing and not being able to see anything. Take the little clip and the hole is up on top so you want to put it up on top and then slide it down and you should be all set. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.